Okay, moving into taking that event off because it's done. Moving into turn 15. This means the uh, Votilla comes back, so we'll figure out where we're going to put that. Because uh, there's a few places it might be useful in, although honestly, I think I'm just going to go in Zaritsyn for now. Yeah, it's just going to go in Zaritsyn. It's the best place to keep it for now, even though there's no reason to have it. Um. So I was wrong about the Siberian shit being removed when all the forces were were eliminated. The rules say they always stay, that only the um, Polish and AAF shits may be removed through their events. Like by getting the Alec withdrawal, and also peace with Poland removes the Poland the Polish shit. So that shit remains, and I guess it's, that's because I could roll partisans and get Siberian partisans to pop up again, which would be really annoying for the Reds, but that's, you know, that's partisan life, baby. It's annoying. Um, I guess I can remove this Dunmarker. He's technically uh, now in this front. Okay, so the question now becomes, what do I do with the Reds? Because the Siberians have fallen, and now those, those forces are just that mass of armies, one, two, three, four, five armies, and the Latvian rifles are going to start streaming back into Russia, central Russia. And the question becomes, what kind of game do I want to play for? Um, two victory states, either I have to take control of every resource city and conquer Poland, or I just have to control every city in Russia outside of the Baltic Republics and Poland. And I think we'll try to maybe just go for every city. Um, I don't know, maybe I want to scrap it up with Poland. Scrapping it up would be pretty easy, actually. So maybe we'll do that. Um, that'd be kind of fun, because uh, uh, it's that would be a challenge. I think I have like 11 turns to get this done, 9 turns uh, to get this done, so or 10, so I've got to get, I've got to Gotta get moving. You only get one attack every turn, so it's, it's time to start making these uh, other fronts disappear. Okay, so let's roll for initiative, and let's see if Poland uh, even enters the war at all. Nope, Reds retain initiative. So let's now roll for um, white event. They roll a four, that's tanks, but they don't get that. The Reds roll an 8, and that is the Red Terror. I've already placed a lot of Red Terror markers. Um, what would be a, even worth? This, like it even matters, really. Okay, what we're going to do is we're going to put a Red Terror in Omsk. And the reason we're going to put it in Omsk way up here in the north, I'll put it up here, is because I want to leave this area, and I don't want the Partisans to pop into it in a Red Terror city. Well, I guess there's a unit there. I guess it could always pop in, but once it leaves, I don't know. Well, we're just going to put it there because there's really no other good place to put a red terror marker. I don't think there's any other thing that's really under siege. I guess I could put it in Kiev, but that wouldn't really help anyway. So we'll just do that. And now we'll do strategic movement. And the whites don't have anything to strategically move, but the reds do. They're going to take the Latvian rifles and this first army out, and they're going to train them down to... Oh, I kind of need to take some beers because I did not take some beers. So what we're going to do is we're going to train ourselves down to Samara. Right there. So I can take some beers and Bulls. Because I need some beers because a resource city if I'm going to try to win. Um, so I guess I, I can't go to Bulls, right? I can't. I don't really want to go to Penza. Yeah, this works. Okay. So we'll do that. And then I have four more units I can manpower I can move. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to move this unit here, the 9th Army, is going to come down, go to Harkov, because I can actually stack guys in this front, so there, he moves that. Okay, so now we decide which front's going to go first, I think that's going to be, ooh, it should probably be... It's going to be the south front, because I want to start getting... Although, really, I should try it. Yeah, it's going to be the south front. South's going to go first. Okay. They are going to kill this garrison, because I need to... And then slowly start moving down here. And I think I can actually pull the army out of this, although I need to keep it there in order to keep that flotilla. Hmm. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to take the flotilla... And it's actually going to move all the way up to Samara, because there's actually those units we put in there. Hey. 
Moira. Don't. My dog brought her dog toy in here. Sometimes I tune that noise out and then I realize, oh, I'm recording a video and other people will be like, dude, your dog. And I'll be like, oh, right, the dog. Anyway, so we'll do that because I think we're going to take this army out of Tsaritsyn and they're going to they're start coming down. I'm, I'm less afraid of um, uh, units breaking out and coming out here. So I think we'll do that. And even though they do have the Cossack raid marker, they don't really have anybody that can take advantage of it except for, well, if I cut them off from supply, they'll just die. So that won't matter. Uh, ooh, maybe I should just leave them there just for a minute, though. Maybe. Could that guy even get there? He'd go one, two, three, four. No, he wouldn't be able to get there before I could react, so. I'll go ahead and just bring this guy out and go one, two, three. There, that'll, that even further reduces that ability. And then this will be a relatively simple attack, so I think we'll start coming down here and bottling in these guys. I'm going to go one, two. This guy will go one, two, three, four. Boy, this is where stacking would be really, really helpful. I guess technically I could get around to here too, couldn't I? So, <clears throat> this guy will go. Technically, this guy died. And this now is a red city. This guy can go one, two, three, and the next turn he can slip around here and he can get a nice two to one attack going on. So I can't put a unit there. Anyway, uh, and this guy will come down here. Go one, two, and the red train can stay where it is. I think it's in a fairly good location for now because I have to wait till it takes any cities to get these guys here. All right, so let's do this attack on the garrison. It is an eight to one, that's so four to one. I roll a five, three. So that becomes 10, 16, and he just gets zero. So that's a four to one plus 13, capital DR. Boom, 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 boom. All right, he dies. And I think we'll take this army down into Rostov. There we go, now we've opened up supply through here. Go down to here, do I want to attack with them? No, I don't really want to attack with them. Actually, that is just a four stack, though, isn't it? Yeah, that's just a four stack. This is a it's a boo one to one attack. Oh, and he has some pretty negative. Yeah, so I think we will do that. We'll attack here on a one to one. Oop, that worked out for us. Four three, or I should say, for the Reds. So they get eight plus seven. There is fifteen. Um, they get nine, but they lose six. They have three. What do we say? A 15, so that's a plus 12 on a one to one. That is a little a capital D R, so everybody dies here. And 11th Army will take the loss and come into here. So I didn't even need to move that guy there, but he can start moving. Over here, we gotta take Baku, because Baku is a resource hex. So eventually we'll need to move down here and take that. Okay, so... We need to start getting more of these markers out, because I think we're going to need them all. So he's got that. They've attacked there. Okay. Now we look over here. We're not ready for that yet, because that was just the south. Okay, that was the south, and we put every other chit back into the cup. Polish units are chilling. Southwest um, will activate its guys right there. And we're going to come down and pull some of the same things we're trying to do here now that we have some nice open supply lines. And of course, now with Kiev, we also have the river down here providing supply. So that's actually very nice. To just didn't think about that till just now. Uh, isn't that kind of ridiculous? Yeah, so we'll go one, two, three. Uh, the corner Mia will go one, two. 
Oh, can he do that? Yeah, he can do that because that's what he does there. And then he can go one, two, three. So we have four, eight, 12, 16. He has a stack of, I believe, four. Yeah. So that's four to one. He's in a city. We're attacking from the river, though, so it becomes three to one. Uh, three to one, rolling the die. Mm, six, three, not good for the whites here. So I think we're going to have crush them here. We got one, two, three, four, so that's six, 12, 18, 24, plus four, so that's 28. He has uh, three units, so he gets six, seven, eight. So it's a plus 20 on a three to one. <laughs> that's a capital DR. Um, and I don't think he can, I think everybody, he's going to lose everything. Because the train goes away and it's an irreplaceable unit, so it's totally gone forever. And the garrison goes away. And because they have to retreat, through a zone of control. I think they all suffer a disorder results. I think that's the way I've been playing it. I feel bad if I got that wrong. I sort of thought that everybody had to take it. All right, let's see. I guess technically it was just one. <laughs> you only take one disorder result. So I wonder if some of these other units would have survived, but they would have really just put off the inevitable. And uh, we'll go ahead and kill the, uh, we'll kill the Alexeyev, even though he's worthless. Yeah, so he'll go there and then he slips. Oh, he can't go there, so he has to go here. And then he will die on the next logistics phase. So yeah, that didn't work out for him at all. Although technically he's on the coast, I guess he technically will get supply if he's on the coast. Oh yeah, and they'll advance the seventh army will come in. Siberians no longer exist. Yeah, I feel really kind of bad about this messing this rule up. I kind of thought everybody took a loss when they go through, and honestly, I've probably messed that up in a lot of the combats. It's a little minor detail that you sort of are like, oops. Um, oh, I just, that makes me feel a little bad. I feel like I really should have gotten that one right. That is a mistake though, but here I caught it there, and um, you know, and, and I've been universally applying it. Not that it's ever hurt the reds, they've never been surrounded, but um, it's probably why the whites fell, probably a little sooner than they probably should have, although once you lose support, they're just gonna fall. Um, damn, that's true. Although the, with the units up north, they honestly were totally um, clobbered and we're gonna be surrounded. And so I don't know, I don't really think it would have made a huge impact. They might've lasted another turn or so. They might've impacted some of the stuff that happened down here actually. Oh, you know, honest mistake, honest mistake. Um, yeah, well, we caught it here at the very end. <laughs> so the very last unit to take the benefit of it. Oh, well. Uh, North and Islamic. What we're going to do is just have that North unit um, move here. So you can take that city, keep partisans from seizing it. Then the Northwest. It. Well, we're going to just have that unit um, go one, two, three, and join the Estonians, right? Uh, field staff chit. Oh, there we go. Field staff chit. Should bring this out of super tight focus. And I think what we'll use for that one is. I guess the west front. Yeah, I'll go ahead and bring this west front unit and what we'll do is we will take, although I gotta take, oh uh, yeah, I gotta take all those resource access. So I'm gonna go one, two, three, and we'll go to Minsk and take Minsk. Just get on the 
border of Poland without going into it. AFSR, uh, unfortunately the Kuban Cossacks down here are trapped. There's really nowhere they can go, I guess they could hang out in Odessa, it is a supply point. Um, yeah, but they can't get to Sevastopol. They could use their um, amphibious invasion, but unfortunately they have nowhere to go, their supplies all cut off, so I think they're pretty much just dead. And we'll go ahead and put them in Odessa, just so they have to do something. And that's allowed, right? Because the coupons are there. So it's one, two, three, four, five, eight. Yeah, that's the very furthest city he can get to. All right. The east, and these units will start streaming back, um, back to central Russia. So. He'll go one, two, three, one, two, three, um, one, two, three, one, two, three. I guess I should have left a garrison in that city if I have one. Do I even have a garrison? I think I'm out of red garrisons, to be quite honest. So we'll just have to hope that nothing really pops up there in Omsk. Okay, so that, that movement and the last shit to come up is logistics. Bum, 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 bum. And I think everybody's in supply, except for these Kuban Cossacks, they die. Because I forgot they don't. She actually had to be at their home Krug. And their Krug's over there and they die. So they're actually totally dead. Um, be quiet, dog. <laughs> Wanting attention, just like you're playing the board games again. All right, we're gonna roll for these two, the 11th and the 10th. We'll make the 11th the red die. Hey, they both rally. They might become the Baku squad. Uh, let's get these units here. Let's do the, uh, what is that, the 15th and the 9th. We'll make the 15th the red die. Yep. And let's see if that Konar Mia rallies. It does not. Let's see if this third army rallies. It does not. Let's see if the Latvian rifles there. And uh, the unit underneath them, right? Oh, it's just them, so the Latvian rifles, see if they rally. Nope. And there are just a couple of stragglers up here, right? So we'll see if uh, this the second. And the fifth, so where's the second? The red. No, so they don't rally at all. And still pretty happy with my garrison placement. Um, yeah, so I think that's it. So that's the final turn of turn 15. Um, yeah, just getting kind of uh, really accelerated now. The Reds have just totally destroyed the army in the south, totally destroyed the army in the east, uh, in Siberia. So now it's really just a question of. Um, coming to take on the Poles. So when we come back, start moving against Poland, I guess, on turn 16, uh, May 1920.